Hi everyone, welcome to my simple kitchen. Today we're making three of my absolute favorite Memorial Day recipes. They're all super easy to make and take less than 30 minutes each. First up will be our red, white, and blue chocolate covered strawberries, always a favorite with the kids. Next is the Memorial Day trifle that can quite literally be thrown together in a matter of minutes. And saving the best for last, we'll end with my famous flag fruit pizza. For the chocolate covered strawberries, you'll start out with blue and white melting chocolates. I found this brand at Walmart and they worked fantastic. You'll go ahead and add those to individual bowls and heat them up according to the package instructions. Once those are nice and melted, you'll go ahead and grab your strawberries and dip them about three quarters of the way into the white chocolate. Repeat that with all of your strawberries and place them on parchment paper. You'll let those sit for about five to 10 minutes until the chocolate's nice and hardened. Then dip them about a quarter of the way into the blue chocolate. If you wanna add sprinkles, make sure you do it immediately before the chocolate dries. This is a great recipe to make with your kids. It's super easy and is always a hit. Once they've dried completely, go ahead and place them on a serving tray of your choice. This is a super easy and great recipe to make the night before if you like. Just note that if you put them in the fridge, the chocolate might sweat a little bit, so if presentation's important to you, keep them out on the counter. Next, we're making our Memorial Day trifle recipe. I absolutely love making trifle dishes. They're so easy to make and look absolutely fantastic for any party. Your guests will have no idea that you threw this together in less than 10 minutes. I started out by purchasing a pre-made angel food cake from the store and cutting that up into little bite-sized pieces. In a small bowl, you'll make a lemon simple syrup by mixing a quarter cup of hot water, a half a squeezed lemon, and about a tablespoon or so of white sugar. Give that a stir. In a separate mixing bowl, you'll mix together two blocks of softened cream cheese. Mix that together with 16 ounces of Cool Whip until you get a nice thick and fluffy consistency. I actually messed up here and only had one container of Cool Whip thawed when I made this recipe, but you definitely want two. It makes a much sweeter and fluffier filling with the equal ratios. Stir in a third cup of sugar. Once that's combined, we'll start putting together our trifle dessert. Start by adding a layer of the angel food cake to the bottom of your dish and brush on some of the simple syrup to add some sweetness and flavor and to keep the cake from drying out. After that, you'll add about a third of your whipped topping and push that down evenly throughout the entire dish. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more easy and delicious recipes. Next, you'll add in the strawberries. You can add them around the edges so they look nice and then add the rest to the middle. This is where you can really make the recipe your own by adding different fruits or putting them in any order you'd like. Then you'll go ahead and repeat those steps two more times, starting with the cake, adding in your simple syrup, then your whipped topping layer, and any fruits you'd like. I absolutely love making these fun holiday treats. They're perfect for any summertime get together. For the last layer, when you get to the top, I like to combine all the fruits together. And look how nice that looks in just less than 10 minutes. And last but not least, we have our famous flag fruit pizza. This is a must for any Memorial Day or 4th of July party. You'll start off by cutting a sugar cookie log into one quarter inch pieces. Add those slices to a 12 inch pizza pan and push them all down until you have one big cookie. 
You'll want to make sure it's pretty thin so it cooks nice and evenly. You're going to toss that in the oven and bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 to 12 minutes or until it's starting to get a little bit brown on the outsides. Let that cool completely. You can either leave it out on the counter for about an hour or toss it in the fridge for a half an hour. In a large mixing bowl, you're going to mix a softened block of cream cheese and a quarter cup of sugar. You can use a hand mixer or a stand mixer, but make sure to mix this on high until it's well combined. You'll add in a teaspoon of vanilla. And 12 ounces of Cool Whip or your favorite whip topping. Mix that all together on low speed for about 30 seconds and that'll give you your whipped topping. This is the consistency you're going for. You're gonna take about half of the whipped topping mixture and spread that evenly in a thin layer over the entire cookie crust. Make sure you get it all the way to the edges and once that's done, start adding your fruit. We started by marking out our lines with a toothpick lightly in the icing and then started placing our blueberries. You're gonna start by adding a border around the outside and then adding a triangle for the stars. Next up, you're gonna start laying out the stripes and you can use either raspberries or strawberries for these. And lastly, you're gonna add the rest of your whipped topping mixture using a piping bag. If you don't have a piping bag on hand, you could also use a Ziploc and just cut the corner. As a little added touch, we added in some white chocolate stars that we made the night before. Thanks for watching my three favorite Memorial Day desserts. Let me know some of your favorite summer holiday recipes in the comments.